Donald and Shelley Sterling, the billionaire owners of the Los Angeles Clippers, are now speaking publicly, albeit both separately, both of them for the first time since the scandal that brought them national attention, all of it bad, and got him banned from the NBA for life. They are desperately trying to hang on to the team while the league still intends to take it away from them. We get our report tonight from NBC's Miguel Almaguer in Los Angeles. For the first time acknowledging the racist comments that got him banned from the NBA, L.A. Clippers owner Donald Sterling apologized on CNN. I'm asking for forgiveness. Am I entitled to one mistake? Am I, after 35 years, I mean, I love my league, I love my partners, am I entitled to one mistake? Claiming he was baited in a private conversation with this woman, V. Stiviano, that went public. Don't come to my games, don't bring black people and don't come. Sterling did not steer clear of stepping into even more controversy, questioning Magic Johnson's community outreach. He's great, but I, I, I just don't think he is a good example for the children of Los Angeles. Sterling's interview came after his estranged wife, Shelley, spoke to Barbara Walters. Sterling saying she'll officially split with her husband. I signed the petition for a divorce. A 50% co-owner of the Clippers, Shelley Sterling says she won't give up her stake in the franchise. I've been with the team for 33 years, through the good times and the bad times, and it's my passion. But the league's response was emphatic. Under the NBA Constitution, if a controlling owner's interest is terminated by a three-quarters vote, all other team owner interests are automatically terminated as well. Keeping Shelley, ousting Donald is not an outcome that the league finds acceptable. Fighting for their playoff survival, the Clippers won a dramatic game in the final seconds last night. With Magic Johnson back in the stands, moving forward is what new interim CEO Richard Parsons wants. Obviously, there's huge danger um, and pitfalls in front of us, but there's tremendous opportunity, I think, for this franchise.